Round one. Yeah, yeah what up? Yeah, Alright. <laughs> so I'm on Taylor. I'm starting the casting. We have on Taylor's POV. Um Am I lagging for you by the way? I can't tell if I'm lagging or not. Oh, there goes a no. Yeah, cool. We're, Taylor is freaking dead. So we're going to be watching Caveman right now. He's going to be trying his best to get the overshield. Uh, looks like he's going to get the kill onto Tidebreaker, but it looks like his best buddy Oak is just going to be sitting there. And he does get the overshield. So let's see if we can head over onto Oak's POV as the ball was reset for the enemy team. And he is going to be able to get the heat wave while he's just kind of waiting for the ball, going to bait it out for everybody. Uh, he does get the heat wave kill onto treble, almost gets the double, but then he gets double teamed. And his best buddy Tide is going to be coming in to try to assist. Does get the assist onto one of the players, and he's going to try to, I guess, get that second kill. And he's unsuccessful. However, it looks like Taylor has the ball right now. He's going to try to get it out of the bottom midsection, and he's just instantly incinerated. It's absolutely demolished. So we're on to Caveman's POV right now as he's just taking a look around. You know, we're going to try to pick off some kills and get some ball time. Ball time's essential into this because we're playing oddball, in case you guys did not know that. He does get the kill onto Jen, which is pretty good. Stopping the ball time. And ball's picked up immediately from what it looks like. Oh my gosh, Taylor gets killed instantly by Blackout. Didn't even have time to really commentate on that. So we have Blackout over here. He's going to be taking the ball. going to be trying to move it over to B point. Meanwhile, his team is going to do their best to, you know, lay down some protective fire and, you know, keep it keep an eye out for their for their friend. So it looks like Black Owl is just going to be sitting up in a little sneaky spot there up, up on top of the uh, B point, back B point. He is going to get ticked by, it looks like a grenade, and he's doing his best to loop around. He's going to get ready to play the ball, and oh my gosh, it looks like it's lagging like crazy. Um... Oh, he does get repulsed off with the ball, but he does pick up some more time. Trebles looks to be under bottom mid, getting ready to pick up the ball time now. Uh, unfortunately, he's going to back up a little bit, go back into A, because another team is going to pick up the ball. Oh my gosh, this is exhausting to talk with a sore throat. It looks like Jen has the ball here. Blackout's doing his best to keep cover on her. Oh, that's Caveman, actually. And he, Blackout just gets destroyed. Blackout gets killed instantly. And it, it's, it seems to be a very, it's a very quiet game here. Um, not, not a lot of, not a lot of too crazy action here. Every time I go to someone, they're dying instantly. It could just be the caster curse, unfortunately. Um, Oak's doing his best to stay alive and give the cover fire out. Snipe is coming up in seven seconds here, so he's definitely going to be playing for that. While his best buddy Tide is going to be getting all the ball time there. Jen does go down from the enemy team, which is the Ancients. That's the enemy team. He does go for the sniper. It looks like he meant to go pick it up, but he actually went for the reload and gets stuck. Oh my gosh, by Blackout. Blackout with a six sticky. Uh, looks like Caveman does pick up the sniper instead. Ball was reset, so it looks like the Ancients are going to be going down to bottom mid to try to get the ball. They do have power weapons, so it looks like they're they're having everything set up in the meantime. However, it does look like the Ancients do pick up the ball, but not for long as they are stopped instantly by Jen as she is also incinerated by the heat wave. And everyone I'm going to, they're just dead. Uh, Treble has the plasma pistol, which, you know, a little noob combo is pretty good. I was going to give a little one-two love tap combo as his team, the Tokes, pick up the ball. And they're going to be moving it over to B point. So let's see if we can go over to Oak's POV here as he tries to get the kill onto Rival Fox. And it's perfect because he is a perfect beam. And as I say that, he gets, you know, he gets killed. And the Ancients have the ball now. And they're going to be picking it up and running it back towards... I believe that they're going from B point. They're going to be pushing it over to A, so not bad. Uh, Blackout's carrying the ball, picking up as much time. We're at 67 points and counting for the Ancients. So they're looking to be pretty good right now. They're looking to be pretty good right now. Oh, my gosh. And the sound of a snipe echoing in the background is a, is a terrifying sound for any and all who can hear it. And it looks like Oak has the overshield, and he gets one kill. He doesn't get the second. He does. He gets a double kill to go for the ball. Do I see a triple kill as his team is pushing him over to back B? Not a triple, but he does get three members of the Ancients down. That helps set them back just a little bit. They're going to have to reset their plans there as he's just being aggressive. He's just moving forward, throwing some nades into Nest as that Shroud is going to be sitting there. He does not know there's someone in there. However, he does now, and he's going to finish off that kill onto Blackout. 
And then he also just gets he just he gets beat down instantly. And it looks like it was three down for the Tokes, unfortunately. So Tide's gonna have to back up. He needs to reset. He needs to wait for his friends and his family because you know family is so important. And it looks like the Ancients are, they're gonna play that they're gonna carry the ball as much as they can, and they don't reset it just yet. But Jen with the back smack does help reset the ball. They picked up as much time as they can. They're really close to finishing up this first round. 92 points, and it looks like Tide he's just waiting. He is sitting there waiting as two members of the Ancients are down. Although Taylor's the one that picks it up. Tide, as soon as I clicked away, gets back smacked by Caveman. So that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a setback there. Hopefully he's able to relay that information over to the rest of his team. Taylor's doing his best to pick up as much time as he can while his team is covering for him. And my game is... My game crashed. <laughs> my my game has crashed, unfortunately. Oh my heavens. Rival Fox's POV here. And, you know, we'll keep the jams on. And it looks like um, he is his team's gonna be the red team, and his team is the Tokes. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, I apologize. His team is the Ancients. So it looks like the Ancients are in the lead right now in the second round. Um, going 81 and 81 the points up. So they're do or I'm sorry, they're 53 points down. Good lord, I can't speak. I apologize, guys. Uh, but it looks like Rival Fox's team, um, they're they're down right now. Oaks the Tokes and his Oakers, they're doing pretty well. They have 81 points right now. It looks like they're going to be taking game one. Um, if Fox and his crew can uh, stop them. Uh, looks like there's a lot of lag issues going on with the servers right now. I have no idea why. It's unfortunate. Uh, he does get a perfect kill or a good kill on there. Um, so we're looking as he... Unfortunately, he gets killed by Taylor. So we have to see how the rest of this goes. Caveman has the ball right now. He's doing his best to get the time. And it looks like he's going to get ready to play it just in case. Although the rest of his team is falling in forward very quickly. And it looks like they fall down because Tidebreaker just goes in with a double kill with a pistol. And so the ball was tried to be played and it wasn't played successfully. Fox does get the kill though. Um, oh my gosh, is my stream lagging too? I apologize guys, this is not what it's supposed to be. There we go. Alright, there we go. Fox is back up. He's doing his... Ah, he was a little late on the repulse there. Uh, does get down. However, his team is doing pretty well. They picked up 79 points. And meanwhile, the Tokes, they only have 90. Now, they are getting very close. If no one does not stop them right now, this is going to be it for the Tokes. That's going to be game number one. And that's it. That's game number one in favor of the Tokes right now. What a game. All right, and we're back on the POV of Texas Taylor as he picks up the Disruptor. He's going to pick up the Spike Grenades as well as he's moving over towards the Bulldog. Remember, this is Slayer, so there's no objective. All he needs to do is get kills, and that is unfortunately not what he does in this situation, though he does get the assist. It looks like there was a little team-friendly shot there onto uh, Oak from Jen. Uh, the score is tied up 2-2, two to two, and then Jen goes down to make it 2-3. We're back onto Oak's POV right now as he's going to try and assist his team. Looks like they do have the rockets as well. So they do have the power weapons, and Taylor uses both of them effectively to get a kill onto each. So not bad on Taylor's side of things. We're back onto Rival Fox's POV as he's just hauling those nades. Uh, gets the kill onto Tidebreaker, and he's doing his absolutely very best to stay alive. And as he's sitting there in bottom set, bottom mid, he's going to be, you know, trying to relay the information that he's getting and uh, assist any and all other players. As it looks like all of the chokes were sitting over there by PD, and it was a trap that he was not prepared for. As they're moving over into tires, Tide Breaker does get a back smack onto Blackout as he's going to try to move forward. He gets back smacked himself, and it looks like all that was all of the uh, ancients at one time, and so it's it's starting to slow down here. Texas Taylor was being a little sneaky there and crouching as he's getting some shots over onto the A point. Looks like, there we go, he gets the kill onto Treble. He's a little excited there and he's, he does the back smack. That's a second kill onto Rival Fox. Do we hear a triple kill? We don't. However, we do have two t members of the Ancients coming out of PD, which he was not aware of. Rockets are coming up in 20 seconds. And look at that. He's already calling out where he knows they're going to be at. It looks like the NA team, the Ancients, are going to be all over at Tower 2, which is the A point. 
He's doing his best to stay alive as he's giving shots out and giving call outs as well. Looks like Jen does get the kill onto uh, Treble. And, uh, or I'm sorry, Oak gets the kill onto Treble. I saw her try to do the sm back smack. Though Taylor does get the rockets. He gets the rockets effectively and tries his best to stay alive and keeps them out of the enemy hands. That's going to be one easy kill for him, doing a killing spree, killing onto kill, uh, rival Fox. Do I hear a second? I sure do, and looks like he's going to run into the hands of the other two members of the Ancients. They weren't too happy about the fact that, uh, you know, two of their members just got killed with rockets. So it's unfortunate that he goes down, but he each time he's picked up the rockets, he's used them effectively, getting at least one kill per rocket. Looks like Jen has the Bulldog, so she's going to be able to have a good close-range weapon there as they are closing in on the rest of the Ancients. Folks are doing well to stay alive and stay together, which is a huge thing. You need teamwork. You need cohesiveness. And it's, that's huge. That's huge in these types of game types, especially in Slayer. Things can go down to the wire. One kill can be the deciding factor of a push or the rest of the game as she goes down away from the rest of her team. Looks like she got a little overzealous there. And because of that, the Ancients were able to pick up on that, eliminate her, and move in forward onto the rest of the Tokes. Looks like Black out here does have the shotgun. So he's going to be sitting there, you know, waiting, trying to bait the rest of the team out. And it looks like they don't fall for the bait. They are, they, they, they left. They left instantly. They are not around. And Caveman, uh, hoping, I don't know if he is, but, uh, you know, the team leader is probably giving some call-outs and some directions as, uh, you know, we're waiting to hear from uh, the rest of the team. And it looks like all of the Tokes are actually sitting over here at sea. So this is going to be interesting to see if they notice this or not. And it looks like the Tokes already at 25 points. Make it 26. And even though it's, this is, the score shows it's a bit close, it's actually not. The Tokes have been pretty much on fire this whole match. And as I say that, Jen does get, you know, run into that, I guess, power joint and does die. And Oak... Oh, he escapes with his life. Literally could sneeze on him and he would die right now. As he has the stalker rifle in hand. That's a very powerful weapon to use. He also picks up the uh, rocket launcher. He does use one of the rockets to kill Treble. Which is useful. You don't want you know, the enemy team to pick up those rockets. Those power weapons, again, can be a very huge deciding factor in the series. And it looks like things are starting to slow down a bit. Which is not a bad thing. Rival Fox gets caught out and he does his best to try to stay alive. Does he do so? He does. He, he is able to escape with his life just barely. Somehow, he is able to escape. Oh my heavens. Although he does get, you know, absolutely just demolished by the rest of the Tokes. And it looks like Treble's going to do his best. He does get the back smack onto Jen. And he does, you know, pay for that for with his life, unfortunately. And, again, things are starting to slow down. The Tokes are trying to keep control right now. As we can see, Oak is pretty much taking charge in this in this round. Uh, he, he's the only person to hit the double digits in the kill in the kill feed. Meanwhile, Cave just does the same thing. He just hit 10 kills, so it's not too shabby. Things are a little bit more balanced, as we can see, as the team leaders have effectively chosen the correct te teammates. Then does get the kill onto Rival Fox, so it's doing very well. Helps Oak out and is able to secure a double kill. The score has dramatically changed. We are up 10 points, the Tokes. 36, 37, I mean, to 27. So it's a 10 kill difference between these two teams. Like I said, one kill, one push, one weapon can change the fate of an entire game. We'll have to see what's going to happen next here. Oh my gosh, and Jen and Oak, they're both literally one shot. Jen is somehow able to get the kill onto Blackout, but she does get tracked down and eliminated by Treble as well. It's unfortunate, but it does happen. Rival Fox once again has the rockets. Is able to secure a kill onto Oak, getting a double kill there. Uses the shroud, it's a smart decision when you're low and you're trying to escape and confuse the enemy, which he does that. He is unfortunately not able to get the kill onto Jen, which was amazing. I'm surprised that she was able to turn that around. It looks like Treble here does have the shotgun. Able to secure the kill onto Oak. That's good. Oak's going to be very scared if he does not. Gets a double kill with Tide. Is he going to be able to get a triple kill? He does not. He was just a second away from getting that triple kill. But he does get the assist, so that's not bad. 
Now, a huge thing in any Halo Infinite game is you gotta use the sandbox. Using the sandbox is absolutely key. And that is what Tokes have been doing effectively. They have been using the sandbox. That's why it's 45 to 38 right now in favor of the Tokes. That first round was very close, or the first game was very close. It could have gone either way, but this round, this game definitely seems to be more in the favor of the Tokes. They're doing their absolute damnedest to stay in control, to stay on top of all the power weapons and the power ups if there is any. Which there aren't. Looks like Blackout's doing his best to try to ping where the enemy team is, trying to give as much information as he can to the rest of his teammates. But unfortunately, it looks like it doesn't matter. As the Tokes, they're already a step ahead, and they're giving more information out, and they're able to secure more kills because they're sticking together a lot more. That's why it's going to be a three kills away for the Tokes. And, and make it two kills away until the Tokes be able to secure game number two, which is absolutely crazy. Forty-eight, forty-two. All the Tokes need to do is they just need it. That's one more kill. They just need one more kill. Is Taylor going to be able to secure the final kill? It looks like Oak might be able to secure that final kill. And he does. That is a 50 to 43 kill for the Tokes. That is absolutely crazy. Who would have thought? Okay, we're going to go over to... Let's go to Rival Fox's POV right now. We're going to be watching to see what it is he does here. And... Looks like they're going to be trying to set up for that camo. Got a double team onto Oak. They do secure the kill onto Oak right now. However, Taylor's going to be backing him up. And he's going to be trying to get a double kill here. That's one. That's two. He gets a double kill with the sizzle sticks. Oh, my gosh. Can we see who has the over the camo right now? And it looks like Blackout has the camo right now. He's sneakily walking with the flag. If you do not run, they will not know you are there. It does not signal the enemy team. So if you have the flag and the camo... All you have to do is walk. So this could be a very easy capture for the the Ancients. And his camo does run out. And it looks like the, the Tokes, they're right on his tails. All he has to do is just slide that in there. And that's 1-0 in favor of the Ancients. That's a really nice cap. Very sneaky. Although he does pay for it with his life there. So we're on Oak's POV now. He does pick up the Heat Wave. He's going to be trying to go into the enemy base with... Taylor, although he does back up to go to top mid, he's going to try to get more control there to try to finish off those kills. He's signaling that he can see more than one person in the back of the base of the Ancients. And it looks like he's, he's definitely been caught out. However, the rest of his teammate does collapse in there, and it's, it looks like it was an even kill. And Rival Fox does pick up the enemy. It is a dual flag run. So both teams have taken each other's flag, and it looks like the Tokes... I thought the Tokes were going to be the ones to come out on top, but it looks like they do be able to get the return onto their flag, and all they have to do is pick up this flag. So it does look like the Tokes are the ones that came out on top in that exchange there. He does miss the flag. He's going to let Jen do it while he goes and does his thing. We're going to have to see. Caveman sights it. He's going to be able to get the kill onto Jen, trying to get the return, but notices that he's got two other members of the team onto him. And unfortunately, all he has the Tokes were not able to capitalize on that cap. Now, they are pushing in hard. They're being very aggressive right now. And it looks like the Tokes also has their have their flag taken out of base. Tides is going to be doing his best to try to eliminate anyone and everyone in his kill. He does get a double kill there. So, good job on the Tokes for keeping their defense up. The Tokes are doing their very best to stay strong with defense. Because the best defense is, is, just, is just a really good defense. I mean, it's just defense is good. Defense is really good. And Oak does fall, unfortunately. And we're just we're trying to keep around here to see what's going on. There's a lot of emptiness. And it looks like Treble is doing his best to keep his base clear, which he does. Eliminates Toke. And it looks like Rival Fox is the one that was trying to pull the flag. Meanwhile, Oak is just returning it casually. Oak does go down. Caveman picks up the flag, but he goes down instantly with two members of the Tokes sitting there to return the flag. Treble does his best to try to keep it alive, although him and Jen are going to be able to take some damage. Tide goes down. Oh, my heavens. Treble and Jen, they are low right now, trying their best to stay defensive. Tide and Oak keep going down at that same point. Rival Fox and his team, they're being very aggressive right now. They're going to be moving up, and Rival Fox does go down. You, you cannot push these teams alone unless you're just as good as Treble, and you can just get more than one kill, like a double kill onto Tidebreaker. Oh, my heavens. And because of that, the distraction 
All they had to do was keep those members occupied of the Ancients, and they're already pulling the Ancients' flag right now. And the Sizzle Sticks area is where they're doing their best to keep the flag alive. And oh my heavens. That's that's an easy kill with Tidebreaker. Although he there's two more members of the Tokes right there on the flag. All he has to do is make sure he gets returned. And the flag... Oh heavens, it's successfully returned. Oh my heavens, that was absolutely crazy. I don't know what Blackout's doing. Jen goes down, Oak's alive, him and Tide, the best buddies, you know, the dynamic duo, if you will. They're going to be picking up these sizzle sticks. They're going to be doing their best to keep their defense alive. Camo is up right now. So it looks like... I'm trying to see who has it, Tidebreaker. Tidebreaker has the camo right now. He's doing some call-outs, letting everybody know where everyone's at. Uh, looks like it's an even split here of the teams of who's alive and who's not. And Oak just flies like an eagle with that flag. He does go down, but Tide still sneakily picks up the flag. Although those grenades caught him off guard. Those grenades let everyone know, hey, this is what's happening here. Although Jen picks up the flag. Jen just slid in there and was able to pick up the flag. Doesn't matter because that's three members of the Tokes going down. Easy flag return. And eventually, if they can get this next kill... Which they don't. If they were able to get that kill, they could have been able to make that reverse cap. They tried. It was a very desperate attempt. But they just need to, they just need to reset. They just need a new round of slays. Because look at this. Oak's just sitting there baiting the Ancients. That's three members down for the Ancients. And Oak, all he had to do was just sit there and wait. He just had to bait them. That's all he had to do. Sometimes you don't need to pick up the flag. Although, as I say this, both flags have been taken. They're going to be trying to take them right in front of each other. Oh my heavens. And it looks like Rival Fox is the one to be able to pick up the enemy flag. He's going to be moving it closer and closer to his base. And it looks like both flags are out. They do get the return onto their flag. And the Ancients, they're just... Oak picks up the flag immediately as it gets returned. And the Ancients are pulling the enemy flag over into their base. Oh my gosh, and Oak staying alive is huge. He's moving the flag further and further to his base. That's going to make it so much more difficult for the return. And now, now it's a standoff. Now it's going to be a flag standoff right now. If they can get the return. Which, it's not. They get the return, and that's tied game. One to one. And instantly, it's a, it's a reverse pull. While the Ancients' flag is just sitting a little bit outside of their base right now. Oh my gosh, Oak has the camo. I don't know when he picked up the camo, but he picks up the camo. Double kill. Easy double kill. And now he's just waiting. He's just kind of baiting out the rest of the team. That's what he does best. He just likes to bait it out. That's a three kills. That's three members of the Ancients down with the camo as he picks up the flag. And he misses the grab, but he does stay alive. Still has the camo, just a little bit left. He's going to try to relay some information to the rest of his team. Picks up the flag, he's able to move it forward just a little bit if he can get this kill, which he doesn't. Although his team does finish it off for him. So all we see here is Caveman trying to do his best to return the flag. And in the meantime, the enemy, the Tox's flag has been pulled. All Caveman has to do is stay alive and be annoying. Because if he can do that, that flag's just going to be hauled just like that. Rival Fox, with literally no life left, pulled the flag all the way to the entrance of their base. Three members of the Tokes are just sitting there. Treble desperately is pulling the flag back closer to the base. And because of that, easy kill swipe. And all of a sudden... It's a reversal. Now the Tokes have the to Ancients flag. Now they're moving it across the base more, and they got the return on theirs. It is just a back and forth with these teams. This is one of the closer game types of these teams. It's, they have the same strategy, the same mindset, and they're just going back and forth. This one's definitely going to be a cap for the Tokes, making it 2-1, to one, unless there's a miracle nade that's going to stop them, which I don't believe is going to happen. But hey, miracles do happen, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, Jen was doing great there, being able to stay alive and keep an eye out for the rest of the team up at top mid. That top mid control is huge. You definitely need to have at least one or two players there to be able to give callouts and to signal to the rest of the team what's going on. Without top mid control, you don't have control of this game. And what they're doing now is they're trapping the, the ancients into their base. That's all they have to do now. They don't even have to ride, they don't even have to go for another cab. They just have to ride this out. A little less than four minutes left in the game. So they can definitely go for another flag. Oak does run out of ammo in that heat wave. And he does get the uh, assist there. It looks like Taylor, he has the camo. These these guys, they are perfectly timing when these 
when the power-ups and power weapons come up. And look at that. Oh, he misses the finish kill, but he does pick up the flag. He still has the camo, so he's got to walk as fast as he can, you know, tiptoeing while that camo was up. And since he's sprinting now, he just he needs to juggle it. That just like that, he needs to haul it away from the enemy team. That's two members down of the toast. So, Tide and Jen. Jen picks up the flag in a last ditch effort. Oh my gosh. And because of that, the rest of her team was able to slide in there and to assist and kill off the rest of the members of the Ancients. Now it looks like Blackout's just sitting there trying to get the recharge, but he doesn't realize there's a, there's two members of the Toast there. He does get one kill there. And uh, luckily, another member of his team, Caveman, was able to come in and finish up that kill. So now they just need a reset. They just need a reset here. They need to get another uh, round of slays. Caveman's going to pull the flag. It looks like just to try to get it as far as he can to be annoying. But man, this is a back and forth match. Taylor's going to probably try to get this reset, but doesn't realize that he's going to get shot from top mid. Remember, top mid control is huge. If you do not have top mid control in this game, you, you can't go far in this game. And it looks like, once again, the Tokes pick up the flag. And they're able to move it all the way to in front of their base. Now the Ancients are scrambling. They're struggling to kill the flag carrier and to keep their flag in their base. The Tokes have great defense. And look at that. Just before they can cap the flag, it got pulled out. But it didn't matter. There was a desperate attempt. And because of that, it is a 3-1 for the series. Jen's going to pick up the camo, but dies before using it. That's huge. That is huge. Rival Fox has the camo. Able to clean up the kill onto Taylor. And, you know, even though it's 3-1 with less than two minutes left, they could still come back. They just need back-to-back -back caps. But it's going to be very difficult for the Ancients because the Tokes have perfect defense right now. And as I say that, Caster Curse, they already are pulling the flag. But Rival Fox needs to stay on top. He does die. He doesn't get the kill onto Taylor. That's huge. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what to expect with this game. This is definitely, it looks to be in the favor of the Toast, but I don't want to say anything too soon. Because look at this. Just as I say something, you know, the Tokes, they struggle as well. They're, they're not a perfect team. They're not like Optic Gaming, you know, the perfect team. Although, they are definitely looking to be. And as we're watching here, as the game comes down to its final seconds with less than one minute left, all the Tokes have to do is play perfect defense. That's what they got to do. Perfect defense is key. And it, that's two, three down for the Ancients. And they, they just can't break the defense. They're trying their very best, but unfortunately, it's not happening. It's not looking like with 30 seconds left, they, unless they can get a really good push, it's not looking like they're going to be able to get this game. And, you know, I got to say, the Chokes had really good defense here. The beginning strat for the Ancients was amazing. They, they did a very good job. Um, and, yeah, I mean, they, they had a very good start with that first kill, or that first flag cap, and they just needed to keep the momentum, which they did not, and that, that's huge. They weren't able to keep the momentum there. And because of that, that's going to be game 3-1 in favor of the Tokes. That is crazy. Oh, my heavens.